Hello Capricorn, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to tap into the karma of the person that hurt you when it comes to love. Cross watchers, do keep in mind that the energies can be reversed. So if you are cross watching, this would be the karma of the person that hurt you. Not your karma, but the karma of the person that hurt you. All right, so Capricorn, I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck. So let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy for the karma of the person that hurt you is the Ace of Cups. We also have the Seven of Cups here, along with the Five of Cups. So there's a lot of cups here, all right? I do see that they're going to get involved with someone, okay? Or they have gotten involved with someone. Whoever your person is, I feel as though they've always had other options on the side, maybe even while they were dealing with you, okay? But they're going to end up choosing one of these options. Whoever they choose to deal with, it's going to remind them of how they did you, okay? So whoever, whoever they do get involved with or whoever they are involved with, I feel as though that person is going to treat them the way that they treated you. And so it's going to make them reminisce about all of the things that they put you through. Okay. Wow. All right. So let's tap into this energy a little bit deeper. When it comes to this person, Capricorn, like I said, they're going to start a new relationship with someone or they already have. I do feel as though um, this is someone that they had been dealing with on a sexual level. So it started off as a sexual thing. But this relationship is going to end just as quickly as it begins. OK, they got involved with someone that is very inconsistent, just like they were with you. OK, they're not going to be able to depend on this person. I do feel as though whoever they're involved with is going to end up leaving them because with this Knight of Wands energy, it lets me know that this person isn't going to say in their life all right so i do see that whoever they got involved with okay that person's gonna end up cutting them out they thought that this was someone that they could have growth with and so they came together with this person wanting to make a relationship work initially they felt as though this person was meant for them okay they felt as though th this connection would be a divine one okay they were very satisfied initially but all of a sudden they're going to get bored or they have grown bored with this person so there's someone that they thought would be wish fulfillment for them like I said, I feel as though it was like more lusty energy than anything, but they tried to make things work. So it's almost like they were dealing with a sneaky link or someone that they were just in a sexual connection with. They tried to make a relationship work or they're going to, and they're going to end up bored and dissatisfied. I also feel as though whoever they're dealing with, that person is only around for a good time. You know, they're not taking your person seriously. And so your person is going to feel like they're being ignored or they're going to feel unwanted. For some of you, they may have made you feel this way. OK. Yeah. See, this is someone that they thought they were going to be in a long term committed relationship with. But whoever they got involved with, that person is taking their time. And you know why? Because for some, they're already in a relationship. So that may explain why. It was only a sexual connection, but it's almost like a side chick, a side man type of energy. So things are going to end between this person and um, wh whoever your person is that hurt you. OK. Spirit has been trying to get this person's attention. OK. Spirit has been working through this person through their intuition. Or working on this person through their intuition, but they're refusing to learn their lessons. This is someone that is definitely supposed to be going through a spiritual awakening right now, but I feel as though they're fighting it off. Okay. I do feel as though you guys have definitely ascended. You guys are using your intuition now. You no longer view this person the same anymore. You have a completely different perspective when it comes to them. And at this point, this person is no longer on your level, okay? Because they, this is the type of person, side chicks and side men make them happy. They like, they like attention. They like dealing with other people, okay? I do feel as though you made this person feel very confident about themselves. There's some type of positivity that you brought into this person's life. It's almost like 
whenever they would be having a good day, you would do everything that you could to brighten their day or you would just speak life into them, okay? But this person was burdening you. And so now they're reminiscing about the past and they're really conflicted, okay? They're very conflicted. I also feel as though this person was constantly sneaking around on you. They told you a lot of half truths. And so now whoever they've been dealing with, that person's going to do that to them. They're going to find out that this other person has a family, okay? For some, they're going to get caught sneaking around with this other person. So whoever the third party is, okay, that already has a relationship or a family or marriage going on, they may actually get caught up with this person. Yeah. Spirit is saying to continue to hold back from this person because you guys do need to focus on growth. You, you have gone through a major transformation and you guys have definitely come into your power. This person does want to hold you back when it comes to having a commitment with someone else. Okay, I do see them coming back around wanting to make things right with you, wanting to make things work. But you guys have isolated yourselves and you're definitely moving forward. Some of you may have blocked this person or they may have blocked you, but you're definitely turning your back on them and you're looking toward the future. You guys are ready for a new start because this person is a disaster. I do see them trying to trap you. So they may come back around trying to trap you, trying to keep you from going anywhere. But spirit is saying to continue to move forward because this is going to be an imbalanced relationship. You guys have learned your lessons. Okay. You've learned a lot of lessons when it comes to them. So it's time to close out this cycle and move forward. I will tell you that for those of you that are if you close out a cycle with this person or if you're trying to, they may come back around trying to sweet talk you in order to balance things out. But spirit is saying to keep your guard up, okay? Because even though this person is showing up like they have a lot of love for you, it's not going to go anywhere. Being in a relationship is not going to go anywhere with them. And it's all because they're a player. They're a player. So yeah, basically the player is going to get played and it's going to put them in deep regret to the point where they're going to start reminiscing about you and regretting the way that they did you. Mm. Okay, so let's see what else comes out. Yeah, this was definitely someone they were talking to. And for some of you, they may have even been dealing with this third party while they were with you. At least one of the third parties, because I see at least two people here. But someone's going to ghost your person. They're going to ghost them or they're going to leave them out in the cold. Also, your person may be going through some financial issues. I do see for some of you, they may have like some type of legal matters or some type of legal issues. Something of that matter that's going to cause them financial difficulties. Yeah, this person definitely betrayed you. They stabbed you in the back numerous times. For some of you, they would lie to you about their cheating or their player ways. But you guys are using head above heart when it comes to this person. You know that they're the type that has eyes for everyone. And so, or has eyes for anybody, okay? This is the type of person that will be in everybody's DM, showing everybody attention on Facebook or Instagram under everybody's photos, Liking everybody's photos, loving everybody's photos. At this point, you guys have your guard up, okay? And because you're guarded, this person is stressed out. And they're hoping that things will change over time and that the two of you will have a new beginning. So they're going to be coming back trying to reconcile things with you, okay? But Spirit is saying that you guys need to focus on, on new because you have a new start awaiting you. Okay, let's see what comes out. What else comes out for this person's karma, Capricorn? Spirit, what else? Why is this five of cups here? Why is this person regretting things? Why is the five of cups here? Let me shuffle first. They're telling me to shuffle. Spirit, why is the five of cups here? Why is the five of cups here for karma? Of the person that hurt Capricorn. Why is the Five of Cups here, Spirit? For the karma of the person that hurt Capricorn. Why is the Five of Cups here? For those of you that have children with this person, they definitely regret losing you. 
And even if you don't have kids by them, I just saw the Empress. And that lets me know that this person knows that no one else compares to you. Okay. See, I told you they were regretting another lover. Regretting another lover. Okay. They're regretting this other lover that they chose. Now they're conflicted. They're very conflicted. I feel like when it comes to them, whoever else they're dealing with, they fight a lot. Okay? They fight a lot. They don't get along. It's like they fight over text messages or phone calls or something of that nature. So now your person is ready to move forward. They are spying on you. They're trying to see if you're happy. OK, so if you have social media, they're spying through your social media. If you do not have social media, then they may be they may be asking around about you, but they're trying to find out some information about you. For some of you, if they know where you live, they travel to where you live to to, to watch your house. Hmm. For some of you, they spy on you at your job. I do see that for some of you, this person was entertaining people that they worked with. Regardless, you guys are tired. You know that the things that this person says to you when they tell you that they're going to do right by you, you know that they're just telling you what you want to hear or what they think you want to hear. This is someone that moves very slow. Okay. And it's almost like they offer to whoever they think is best for them. But yeah, you guys... You've learned your lessons. You have. You guys have completed a cycle. And so there's going to be a lot of abundance coming toward you. With the Wheel of Fortune along with the King of Pentacles, that's going to be a lot of good money and stability coming in for you. Okay? Spirit is also saying that when it comes to your money, hold on to your money. Don't let this person borrow any money if they were to try to come back needing help. Okay? Okay? Some of you, Spirit is saying you definitely definitely need to pay attention to your intuition because when you were dealing with this person, when you were in a relationship with them, okay, something was telling you that things weren't right, that this person was doing some sneaky stuff behind your back. But see, the thing about it is they're about to go do the same thing. They're about to go through the same hurt that they caused you and it's going to be with this new person they started dealing with. Now, for some of you, they're dealing with someone from their past as well because like I said, I see at least two different lovers here. And the lover's card came out and there's exactly two people there as well. So that's confirmation. This person's nasty. Give me one more card here for this person's karma. What is What karma is this person currently going through? That hurt Capricorn when it comes to love spirit. What karma is this person currently going through? For some of you, they're going to have to pay out a lot of money for a vehicle or something like that. Like something may go wrong with their vehicle. They may have to get a new car or something of that nature. All right. Give me more spirit. What is the karma of this person? Okay, so we have the Seven of Swords. I told you what they did to you. Someone's going to do it to them. They're going to find out that someone's been sneaking around on them, telling them a lot of half-truths, basically doing the same thing to them that they did to you. They're going to gain some type of clarity. They're going to gain some type of knowledge. And it's going to make them want to turn their back on this person. Okay? This person is also very burdened because they're waiting to hear from you. So for some of you, they, they want to hear from you. They want to hear from you. Also, like I said, be careful with any communication because this is someone that would just try to sweet talk you. This person is very conceited that they'll be able to get you back. I do see them rushing back toward you out of nowhere. OK, I see them rushing back toward you, but some of you, you're not going to take much action when it comes to making things work with this person because you guys are focused on healing and new beginnings. This person is full of drama. I feel as though when the two of you were in a relationship together, this person brought a lot of drama to your life as well as other people being involved in a relationship because of them dating around. Ugh. So spirit is saying to use your intuition because you are the empress or the emperor. This person knows that no one else compares to you, but this is someone that doesn't want you to know your worth. I feel like for some of you, they may not have complimented you. They may not have made you um, 
or let you know how beautiful of a person you are or how handsome of a guy you are. Okay, this is someone that knows your worth, but at the same time, they didn't want you to know. They wouldn't tell you the good things about yourself. And it's mainly because they didn't want you to know. It's like they wanted you to have low self-esteem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're definitely about to experience some financial issues and they're going to have problems paying their bills. So like I said, they're going to be regretting you. We have the five of cups here again and watching you. Okay, and for some of you, they're going to come back around showing you attention. But spirit is saying to continue to go through your transformation after this ending. Continue to work on yourself because this person is a disaster and you guys have learned from the past. So continue to move forward. Okay, continue to move forward. For some of you, they just want to have sex with you, but they're having sex with multiple people. They're having sex with multiple people. And you would be betraying yourself if you decided to mess around with this person. And like I said before, for some of you, that they're, they're having, they're going to have some financial issues or they're having financial issues and they may end up losing a job. Okay. Or a lot of money. All right. Let me get one more card for this seven of swords. Spirit, what is the seven of swords about? Why is the seven of swords here for this person's karma? Okay. So we have the six of wands all right so yeah whoever they start this is someone okay they got involved with a with a lover or they will be getting involved with a lover they're going to be showing this person attention sneaking around with this person but whoever they're sneaking around with that person's already in a relationship so for some of you they're going to get caught they're going to get caught up they're going to get caught up I'm so glad that you guys see this person for their fakeness. I'm glad that you see through the illusion. Because if you were facing this way, okay, if it was like this, it would let me know that you guys may not be fully aware of this person's um, facade, okay? But this lets me know, you know that this person has options. You know that they're not who they claim to be. You know that. You've learned the lessons, you guys have gained a lot of strength through this connection, okay? You're strong anyway, but this person taught, taught you how to be even stronger. Because sometimes, especially when you love someone very deeply, you don't know how strong you can be until you have no choice but to be strong. And I feel as though this person taught you a lot, okay? <sighs> All right. For some of you, people are going to be talking about it. Talking about um, how this person did you or talking about like telling um, lies on this person. Like I see their reputation being ruined. But let's see what this person has to say for themselves, Capricorn. Let's see. Spirit, what does this person want Capricorn to know currently since they've been going through this karma? What does this person want Capricorn to know currently, Spirit? What does this person want Capricorn to know currently? Let's see what comes out. All right. What does this person want Capricorn to know? Would you reject me? I told you they'll be back. They want to know if you reject them. Give me more spirit. What else does this person want Capricorn to know currently? I'm constantly reminded of you. So this person thinks about you a lot. Okay. I feel as though they reminisce about um, if the two of you will be able to come back together and make things work. Give me more spirit. I can't seem to find the right words to say to you, okay? So this person is thinking about what to say to you to get you back. And my problem with this card is that they're trying to find the right words to say to you instead of instead of just being genuine, instead of being honest. I told you guys this person is a sweet talker, so they're trying to find the right thing to say, the right things that you may want to hear. <sighs> Give me more spirit. I can't handle your words right now. So this is someone that runs from the truth. Okay. They don't like being exposed. This is someone that likes to sweep things under the rug. They don't want to hear what you have to say. They don't want to face what they did. They don't want to face what they did to hurt you. Give me more spirit. I know I screwed things up and honestly have no idea how to fix it. So this person is admitting that they messed up. Okay, they screwed up the relationship. That's probably why they're wondering if you would reject them. 
please don't take what happened personally. It's not you, it's me. So this person is admitting that they have some issues. Like I said before, I feel as though this person is a player. Like they're always looking for the greener grass and they they haven't found it since since the two of you have been apart. They haven't found it. They didn't have greener grass before you. This person will never experience the type of connection that they had with you. They will never find anyone else that was as genuine as you were to them. Is it possible to forgive and forget? Thank you, spirit. See, I told you this is someone that likes to sweep things under the rug. So instead of them fixing the things that they've done wrong, they were rather for you to just forgive them and forget about it. Oh, let's see what else. I don't know if I can meet your expectations. That came out under, I can't handle your words right now. So that lets me know that this is someone that... Um, they know that they let you down. This is someone that knows that they hurt you and they don't want to hear about it. This person also knows that they weren't ready for a committed relationship. And the sad thing about it is all you guys wanted was reciprocity, loyalty. You know, someone that was genuine, someone that, you know, reciprocated your energy. And they don't even know if they can meet that. I'm a better person because of you. So they're saying that they're better because of you. At the bottom of the deck, we have, I still love you. So this person is saying that they still love you, Capricorn. Give me one more card, Spirit. I've looked you up online to see what you've been up to. So this person has been watching you. They've been looking you up online, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we have, I can still feel you. So this person still feels your energy. And even if you do not have like social media, this person's finding a way to spy on you, okay? They're finding a way. All right, so Capricorn, that is your reading. If you guys resonated with this or if you like this type of reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time. Bye.